Good morning everybody, Baz here from Pucker Pickers doing another show. Um, I'm going to do it on um, brass and raw iron pieces that I've got to show you. And I'm going to do it on Art Deco as well. Let's get, obviously I'll show you something. So I said I'm going to show you a bit of cast iron. So I'll, I'll mingle the two. So this one is cast iron chap, if you can see him there, he's solid. So he's a bit sort of a bit aged as well. I mean, you can see he's sort of aged off a bit there. Big solid chunk, but probably done in a mould. He's a bookkeeper, portly bookkeeper. Uh, I would say he's definitely antique. I'd say he dates from around 1890-ish. Um, and his purpose in life would be, he's a doorstop basically. A doorstop. He's quite heavy. I've got him. I've got him on my shelf at the minute, and you can see the, um, you know, the cast marks there. That's that mark down the side there. If you can just see it, it goes all the way down that side and on the other side as well. That's where the mould uh, closed and was opened to take him out when he was when he was cast, basically. Quite rough underneath. It's all good indications of age. He's a bit oxidised anyway. He looks like he's browned up a little bit, which is what happens with iron anyway. Um, creatures are pretty good. I've seen examples of, of him online for around 100, 120 pounds. I actually paid a tenner for him when I bought him. And um, I've, I have used him as a doorstop because he's quite useful actually. And uh, yeah, he's worth around, I'm going to say 100, 110 pounds. I paid 10 pounds for him. So yeah, he was a good buy. So look out for anything that's unusual like this. Have a look out for and the characteristics are there for the ageing. Like I say, is oxidised a wee bit, the casting's a bit rough. All characteristics of um, something that's quite quite old really. Indications of age are always good. If something looks brand new uh, and it looks, you think it might be old, then the chances are it's going to be reproduction. So just just bear that in mind, and then get obviously get out there looking at stuff. That's the best thing way to learn. Really, you you learn from your mistakes. I used to make loads of mistakes to begin with, but um. You know, you'll learn as you go along. So that's that boy. Let's so come to an art deco piece now. So we've got this lady here, which is she's creamware. She's a dancing lady from the nineteen twenties. Uh, with you know, like pulling with the uh, edges of a of a skirt, um, prancing around really. So it's just creamware one. That's the back of it. That's the front of it. Um, and then look underneath, we've got Made in California, if you can see it. So she was made, so basically she's an American uh, 1920s art deco lady um, in a classic pose. So it's very classic art deco in design, so you're looking at things like this. Um, she's definitely old, she's definitely, you know, she's not reproduction. You can just tell the way she's cast, you look at that foot rim as well. You know what I mean? It's uh, Quite nicely well, and that's an impressed stamp there for the, for the uh, California factory. So yeah, that's a nice thing. And um, I think I paid for her around, I think she's got this little crack in her shoulder there, unfortunately. You can see it, but it's never put me off a bike because I didn't pay a lot for her anyway, I paid two quid for her. And she, with a crack in her arm, I would say is worth around what? Realistically? Without the crack, probably 30. As she stands, I would say 20. Because I still think she's quite desirable. Um, she's part of my personal collection, so I've had, I've had her quite, for quite a while, so I'm not, I'm not really going to sell her. So that's that, that's that one. Um, so I'm going to show you something else now that's it's cast iron and cast brass. Now, this is quite heavy again. It's, it's a cannon. So the. the the barrel of the cannon itself is made of brass, it's cast, it's, like I say, it's very heavy, it looks like it's quite old, um, chances are to be honest with you that this might be right reproduction because on the side of it, you can see it, it says, it says there if you can see it, it says 1796, now I have my doubts whether it was made in 1796, if it is you're looking at a 500 pound cannon, easily. I think it might be reproduction, but 
look at, if you look underneath as well, the characteristics are there, like it's still got age to it, this. And um, the difference being, so if it is reproduction, you're looking at a Canon that's probably worth around 35 quid, to a Canon that if it is kosher and original, it's worth 500 quid. So I'm hoping it's a 500 quid version, but I'd, that's it. I'm here on the side of caution with this, I actually think it is reproduction. As you do see them, they are very similar to this, so... And it is aged, so it, that's the other thing, it looks like it's aged, so it's... It is a nice thing, and I paid for it seven quid. So I get at the moment, I've got this on display in my flat. Um, I paid seven quid for it. Uh, if it's reproduction, it's £35. <laughs> if it was the other the antique version from that period 1796 we'd be looking at 500 pounds so there's, there's a big difference but I'm always there on the side of caution um, unless it's blatantly obvious that it is that old because a lot of things out there are reproduced and it does kind of throw you a little bit so you, you'll get to know what's reproduction and what's the, the original eventually when you get out on your travels doing that type of thing. So that's that cannon. Now this one here is another art deco figure and yeah, they'll say it's the same when you just show me. No it's not. She's slightly bigger. She's much better quality if you look at the casting with more detail. And this is a good example as well why I'm showing you these two figures that are similar. There's one's the uh, top quality which is this one. The other one's nice but the, it's, you know, the, the, the moulding's not as good. Uh, so this, if you look at the moulding on her, the detail's extremely good. She's slightly bigger. Um, so same pose, and she's in cream wear, same as the other one. Uh, and then you look underneath her, the foot rim, the foot rim's there again. This one's not marked underneath. But you could, you could say it might, it might be American, it might be English, it's difficult to say. Um, but yeah, classic, classic art deco design again. Very desirable. Again, I've only stumped up two pounds for this. Now she, because she's better quality, is going to be worth around uh, fifty pounds. Again, part of my personal collection, which she is. Um, I'm not really going to sell her as of yet because I like to really love art deco. So she's on display with the shelf of the other one. So I have one either side of the thing. I'll show you. I look, I look a bit later. The um, the bowl, all on the top shelf basically, um, and, and they'll just look nice together. So yeah, that's that's the Art Deco thing. That's a quality one. So you could hope you can see, like I say, one one's quality stands out more than the other. One with the detail that I've just shown you there, and that's the best one. The other one, although it's nice um, and not as crisp in the detail, I mean the design's the same. The design's almost identical in a sense, but it's a poorer quality casting but it's still a nice thing so one's worth 30 the other one's worth 50 to 60 should we say so it's still worth double um so yeah that's that one so coming back now with another cast iron and brass cannon and it's not it's not the same one you look it's like a it's open prep worked uh, it is cast iron um Again, it's a nice thing. Is this older than the other one? I don't know. It's it's difficult to that's a difficult to gauge because the cast looks like it's oxidised off again. It's going brown in places. It's kind of rough in the way it's it's made. Uh, yeah, look underneath as well. But I'm going to say again, probably it is reproduction because I actually bought the two cannons from the same person. And so the likelihood is they probably are both reproduction. Part of, you know, come from a house clearance or something like that. We bought these from a fair, you see. So, again, a nice cannon. Look at the design of it there. And on the other side, it's the same. It's not got um, a date marking on it like that. The other one that was said in 1796. This one doesn't really have any date marking on it at all. But it is quite heavy, chunky piece of metal. Um, very similar to the other one and slightly different in design again this one's I paid £7 for and it's worth around £35 again so 
So, yeah, the turnover's not bad, and they, they should be easy sales. So at the minute, I'm, I'm actually displaying them. This, these are on my shelves. So, yeah, I'm going to try for a little bit yet, I suppose, as well. Like well, the great examples to show you um, Canons, if you can find the old ones, like I said, like the ones that were for £500 or so, well, then you're laughing basically. But the reproduction ones, you get them to the right money, there's always going to be a margin. So, you're looking at around 30 to 50. And they come in various sizes. These are sort of a standard size. You can get them smaller, and you can get them much, much bigger. Um, and then obviously, like the value can go up significantly. And um, yeah, those are cannons. So they're just like a nice little thing to collect and show you. So with that, I'll move on to something a bit different now. This is again my old favourite Art Deco. And this is a box, I think it might might have been a tea caddy. One of the classic designs, look at the symmetrical lines and what have you. And the hexagonal lid there, you see. Well, that is classic Art Deco. Let me take my time and let me have a look around it like so. Yeah, classic Art Deco, definitely period as well, definitely not reproduction. Um, I think it's probably been made by a carpenter that's who's done it. So yeah, it, I think it is definitely tea caddy. It's like the lid's quite snug, so that would keep your tea um, yeah, tight. I'm gonna get it back in now. Anyway, so there we go. It's back in now. So yeah, it's a lovely thing that cost me around uh, four quid. I think that one. What's it worth? around 30 to 40 pound again it's currently on display in my kitchen i don't use it for tea i just use it for display uh, it's the, got a nice patination to it and a nice patina which is you know it shows all you can see the grain in the wood just just panel pin together by somebody you know works like a vagina or something like that so that's that's that one then i come to another one of my favorites at the end here i'm going back to that deco still again and this one is a plane. Now this is probably a bit later. I know they're still classic as deco in design. Okay, you can hear lots of rattling inside, so you know it's a money box so already. You can see the slot in the top there. That's underneath of it. And I paid for it. I paid one pound fifty for this. I've had it ages, I love it. Not been able to find this anywhere as well, by the way. I looked it up online, you just can't find it. And that's the other side of it. So that's the front of him. So it's a 1950s plane that. If you've got the engine on the back, there's a bit of a giveaway. Um let's say pay one pound fifty for it. Can't find it online. I don't really want to sell it anyway. It's creamware again like the other figures that I've shown you before. And um it's worth I'm gonna say forty to sixty pound, but it might be worth more because I think it's pretty rare. That's the original stopper that came with it as well. So I reckon it's 1950s though, but you can still class it as deco because of the design of it. Because I mean the term deco itself comes from the 1960s, isn't it? That's come from 1920s and 30s when deco was about. We just got term, uh, coined the phrase in the, in the 60s. That's what people started to call it. So yeah, that's some great examples of art deco. And this like looks like, you know, it's the taking off sort of position. Pose. Look at that, yeah, that's a better way of looking at it. But yeah, it's about to take off, I think. Um, and that had in between the two ladies that I've got, so yeah, great examples, creamware, um, a bit of an insight into Art Deco, and um, like I, say, I, could, I like to show you some more bizarre colourful patterns if I can, but I haven't got any examples to hand at the moment, but I will hopefully be doing some more shows at some point, so don't forget to smash a like and subscribe to Pucker Pippers. And I'll see you all soon with another show with some interesting things to talk about. And hopefully, you know, put you on the track to doing well and finding the right things when you're out there on your travels, picking. So, yeah, good luck, everyone, and thanks for watching.